Hey guys, Pro here at VIP Outdoors, along with my beautiful wife, Randy. So we are making a homemade cocktail sauce. As much as we fish, crab, shrimp, all that good stuff, having a nice cocktail sauce is a must. And my wife makes a phenomenal cocktail sauce that she's gonna be sharing with us. Go for it, honey. Let's see all what right. you got. Hi, you guys. So this is a super simple recipe, and in fact, this is the way that I lock this one down. So ladies, if you're out there, take note. Uh, we need four ingredients, super simple again. We've got ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, some raw horseradish, and a lemon. Now you guys know you can find all the recipes online, so I'm not gonna go over specific amounts, but we're gonna eyeball it. Uh, so first we just start with our ketchup. And that's gonna be your base. So you want enough sauce as your ketchup. Um, ketchup is your sauce to you know feed everybody. And then next I start with, or put the horseradish in. This is the raw horseradish, guys. You could use the creamy if you wanted, but we just use Don't them. be a sissy, use the raw <laughs> stuff. You know what, this is, this is a channel about harvesting animals, cooking animals, use the good stuff. Use the good stuff. Um, if you can tolerate kind of the heat, go ahead and use a little bit more. If you are wimpy um, or don't like the heat, don't quite use as much. We're gonna put in a little bit of the Worcestershire and then finally squirt a lemon. And we're just gonna mix that all together. And what I recommend is as you make this, make sure that you're tasting it, because you might get in a little bit too much horseradish or maybe not enough ketchup. Um, and if it feels too heavy, put in just a little bit more lemon. It's really gonna brighten it up. So you guys mix it up, give it a taste. That's perfect for most. I'd go more horseradish, but uh, that's just me. You know, it's absolutely phenomenal. It's that easy to make a good, good cocktail sauce. There's not a cocktail sauce on the market that can compare to that. And again, very simple ingredients that you probably have in the pantry anyways. So thanks for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Make sure you leave your comments down below. If you're new to us, hit that subscribe button. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.